Now, those of you who know me will be only too aware that I'm not a great fan of the word retirement, mainly because the whole concept is now increasingly out of sync with uh, modern reality for many of us. It's still stuck with an identity hangover from our parents' day, where retirement meant that you left the world of work for good with uh, possibly a gold carriage clock tucked under your arm if you were lucky. But as this stage of life continues to evolve and change, the notion of retirement as a one-time event that permanently divides work from leisure is fast becoming a thing of the past. Well, take me, for example. At 67, I'm now officially eligible to call myself retired, and yet I still work. In fact, the thought of not working does not appeal to me at all. And why would it, you know? I love what I do, and I get an enormous amount of fulfillment and satisfaction from it. So why would I choose to give it up? On the other hand, I also know people who have literally counted down the days until they could retire, saying things like, you know, I can't wait for the day to come when I'll just be able to kick back and do nothing. It'll be like I'm on a permanent holiday. But for a good many, it turns out that a life of pure leisure isn't necessarily all it's cracked up to be, and instead left them feeling bored, aimless, and yearning for a bit of challenge, purpose, and fulfillment. Waking up in the morning with no particularly urgent place to go and no particularly urgent thing to do can rapidly lose its appeal once the honeymoon period is over. And sadly, most of us have examples of friends who struggled to find an identity outside of the workplace, leading in some cases to periods of illness, anxiety and depression. So where do you sit on the work retirement continuum? Figures from the Office for National Statistics show that a record 173,000 pensioners entered employment in the three months to June. It signals quite the U-turn after hundreds of thousands of people in their 50s and 60s left the workplace during the pandemic as lockdown forced many of them to reassess their priorities and unable to survive on their pensions, many third ages have no choice but to return to work as a way to offset uh, financial stress. You know, it's not surprising considering that increasing numbers of this age group are expected to bear the heaviest brunt of the soaring cost of living, inflation and rising energy bills, swallowing them up much of their £9,627 a year state pension. But what about those who choose to continue working past retirement age? For this group, myself included, the payoff goes way beyond income. It's about things like self-worth, mental stimulation, social interaction, making a difference purpose, fulfillment, to name but a few. But that doesn't necessarily mean we want to keep on working at the same pace or in the same way. I no longer work nine to five, five days a week, and I have a different work schedule for summer and winter, which affords me the work-life balance and flexibility that I enjoy. Indeed, flexibility is the word that crops up time and time again in my discussions with both my friends and with clients alike. The flexibility to choose our hours, dictate our pace, give up the long commutes, fit our work around other responsibilities, 
change course and do something different and personally meaningful. Rebalance work with leisure. Develop our own routines and structure. Start an enterprise of our own. Continue putting our experience to good use and creating a mixed portfolio, including things like part-time work, paid or unpaid consultancy and volunteering. In theory, we can choose to carry on until we decide otherwise, health permitting, of course. The key word here is choosing, because choosing to do something you enjoy is very different to having to keep working out of financial necessity. Modern retirement is all about making highly individual decisions and choices. There is no one size fits all. But the idea of retiring as not working needs to be reconfigured and updated to reflect our changing times.